I'm Daniel Williams, and on today's menu, chicken tacos. First things first, we're gonna season our chicken. Um, if you wanna be healthy, go for the, uh, the chicken breasts, but if you want the flavor, use a darker meat. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, and we have some cumin, and we have paprika. Next, we'll add in some oregano. Gonna mince up two peppers, chili, adobo sauce. This will balance out the, uh, the, the spiciness from the peppers. Glove up, stay protected. Go ahead and just mix all this in. While this sits, uh, we'll make our guac, we'll make pico de gallo. Um, so this will give us enough time for the flavors to kind of seep in. Ideally, you can let this sit for eight hours, um, but if you're trying to make it quick, 30 minutes is just fine. All right, we'll start with the uh, pico de gallo. And if you're like me and you're picky, just simple thumb in, thumb out, juice, seeds all gone. No seeds, just like my weed. Just thinly slice. Ideally, this will take 40 minutes, but if you like to cook high sometimes like me, this will take you an hour and a half. All right, next we'll dice an onion. Next, we'll take some cilantro, jalapeno. If you are cutting jalapeno with your bare hands, please use olive oil right after. I made the mistake of going to the bathroom right after doing this. Spicy day. We'll add some salt. Pretty. Done. We'll make a quick garlic paste. Now I start taking your blade. So we're gonna push it down and then towards myself. Down. Go ahead and add a pinch of salt just to speed the process up. All right, we'll take two avocados, blade in straight to the core, just work the avocado around. Perfect. Dice some red onion. Cilantro. Half a lime. Some orange juice. Everything just mix with new one. Don't forget to season the salt. And just mix everything together. And that block is done. Cast iron will go medium high heat. Going a little oil. Most of the heat is directly in the center of the pan, so I'm just gonna start moving. All right, and this is the sear that we're looking for right here. That's the color we wanna see for all the thighs. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen, you know what I mean? All we look for is a nice sear on both sides, and that's when you can go ahead and pull. We'll add some oil. Just a little quick shallow fry on these tortillas. Once you see them bubbling, it's a good sign to go ahead and pull them. Once your chicken has rested, go ahead and chop up your chicken. It should have this beautiful white color along with those charred bits. That's where the flavor is. Here's the order. Walk first, chicken in, and pico right on top. Doesn't get much better than this. And on the menu today was chicken tacos, a staple of my 420 snacks. Thanks for vibing with me and Revolt on 420.